This is the Revolutionary Guard's message to Israel. War games in Iran, including firing ballistic and cruise missiles. One of the targets resembles Israel's Dimona nuclear reactor. The head of Iran's armed forces, Staff Major General Mohammad Baghari, says 16 ballistic missiles of varying classes were fired simultaneously. Tehran has one of the biggest missile programs in the Middle East. Regarding such weapons as an important deterrent and retaliatory force against the United States and other adversaries in the event of war. Just days after those drills, world powers are back in Vienna trying to salvage what is left of the 2015 nuclear deal. The Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action has been unraveling since the U.S. withdrew from it in 2018 and imposed a series of new sanctions on Iran. And that prompted Iranian officials to reduce their compliance with the deal, which means their nuclear program has progressed. Robert Kelly is a former director of the International Atomic Energy Agency and a nuclear engineer. He says Iran's been backed into a corner. Each time there's a sabotage event that blows up some of their facilities or the U.S. adds more sanctions, they've tended to push back and do something provocative. And I think they've gone past the point of reasonable provocations. They're now, um, they've gone too far. World powers have been insisting that Iran's ballistic missile program needs to be part of that deal, a notion that's continuously dismissed by Iran. As the eighth round of talks continue here in the Austrian capital, Israel opposes these efforts and has long threatened military action if diplomacy fails. And that is just one of the many reasons time is of the essence. There is a sense of urgency in all delegations that this negotiation has to be uh, finished in, in a relative reasonable period of time. Again, I would put limits, but we are talking about weeks, not about months. The head of Iran's atomic energy organization, Mohammed Eslami, recently told a Russian media outlet that Iran does not intend to go beyond its current enrichment levels of 60 percent, a move all Western powers have warned would cross a red line. Iran says its nuclear program has always been for civilian use, a statement some don't believe, while it continues to stockpile highly enriched uranium. Officials here say for tensions to ease and for Iran to limit its nuclear program, the talks here must succeed, and failure will have far-reaching consequences. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Vienna.